hello guys today we are going to learn how to install WordPress on your PC using uh, XAMPP so uh, for this you need to go to wordpress.org and uh, download the CMS so click the download button then uh, click the download WordPress uh, 3.8 and uh, you need to save the uh, file it's a zip file and then uh, go to uh, www.apachefriends.org slash en slash xam double p dot html uh, for downloading your XAMPP for Windows okay we are uh, we are going to install it we are going to sub set up CMS uh, this WordPress CMS to your uh, Windows PC Windows environment okay uh, actually XAMPP uh, in my previous video uh, in my previous video I'll g uh, I'll show you how to set up XAMPP so uh, on your PC um, so uh, we are going to actually uh, recover the whole process um, I'm going to show you the whole process at once that you can uh, you can fully understand so uh, you need to go when uh, going to the apache friends dot org slash n slash zam dot html then click on uh, zam for windows then uh, then zamp of uh, point download click the zamp of point uh, uh, there are uh, many version uh, there is php 5.4 version and there is a uh, PHP 5.5 version so in this case we are using uh, PHP 5.4 version uh, XAMPP Windows 1.8.2 the installer I actually download it here is the file now I'm going to install it please uh, double click on the file and now the setal, uh, setup will be start for uh, XAMPP So, uh, they ask a question, you just click yes, then click uh, ok, then click next, then click next, then click next. Actually, uh, if you want to select any another uh, drive, uh, like uh, want, to s want to set up on your another drive, you can set up this by select a folder option, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use this default next click learn more about bitnami for XAMPP I don't want to learn about that the bitnami is a add-on for uh, XAMPP S click next so the installation will, uh, uh, will start okay um, uh, nearly the installation is complete <coughs> Uh, so uh, uh, we are we have download the WordPress 3.8 so you just need to copy that and uh, bring it to your desktop okay uh, uh, okay the inst uh, XAMPP installation is finished setup has finished install XAMPP on your computer do you want to start the control panel so actually I want to start the control panel and uh, this is the control panel uh, so uh, in this case we need uh, we are now going to so uh, now we are going to start the uh, Apache server click uh, the start button and then click the MySQL button MySQL start button so the service started now you need to check it uh, go to uh, uh, go to uh, any browser just and type locl localhost I need to check it uh, the XAMPP server is running go to English uh, now the next thing we need to do is extract this WordPress file <coughs> So after extracting, you will see a uh, WordPress folder name, uh, a folder name WordPress. 
now uh, you need to copy this folder uh, go to C your uh, XAMPP folder go to htdocs and then paste the folder uh, you can change the uh, change the name of this folder uh, in this case I am using I am using uh, just like site site okay so uh, now uh, go to your XAMPP folder create a database for creating a database go to localhost and then go to php my admin click there and go to database and click uh, then type your database name in this case i am using site as my database name i'm going to create create uh, i'm going to click create and the database is created here is the database now uh, here i'm going to uh, type local host slash uh, my folder name my f this is the folder site my folder name site you need to input the folder name site then click enter then a page will come uh, here you need to create uh, you need to click the create a configurations so the information they will give you then click next then here you need to use in the database name section just uh, write down the data database name you uh, on the username you need to use root password there is there will be no password for uh, there will be no password so now click submit and then uh, click run the install sh install so here uh, here you need to submit your website informations like site title uh, you need to use the uh, you need to use a username for your uh, WordPress admin in this case I am using uh, my name okay uh, so next you need to uh, give the WordPress admin password by this password you can log into your what uh, WordPress dashboard in this case I'm using a password okay you need to use a um, mail address so okay just install WordPress okay and the installation is complete now using your username and password just go to login so this is your WordPress uh, admin dashboard and this is the latest WordPress version 3.8 so it is um, uh, it is very good to see so uh, this is your uh, uh, dashboard main menu this is the top menu uh, this is the uh, dashboard this is welcome widget and this is that uh, at a glance widget this is quick draft widget activity widget this is WordPress news widget so uh, your site actually is installed to your PC so uh, you need to uh, see the website uh, go to test and click the visit sites so this is the site you create on your PC you can develop it you can update it you can do any kind of post you can create any page uh, for posting you need to go add new post for creating a page you need to go add page so uh, okay uh, that's it guys for today uh, I will give you uh, up-to-date information uh, on the next tutorial you can see you can uh, see on my channel please subscribe to my channel um, thank you everyone